So let's review in some of the yearly blood work so you can understand how do you sort of get a gauge and continue to help you to understand how to take care of your body. So your CBC, so you're getting one, all your normal ranges for white blood cells and red blood cells. Now, if platelets are high, I would add in the omega plus turmeric. Checking your cholesterol levels when doing blood work, big thing that a lot of people get wrong. We're only looking at total cholesterol. This one doesn't tell us too much from a perspective of your mortality risk or your risk of a heart event. You got to dig deeper because LDL, HDL, triglycerides. So you want 25% of your total cholesterol to be HDL. So if it's 200, you want this HDL to be at least 50. You want your triglycerides to be twice as much as your HDL. So if these are 50, we don't want triglycerides above 100. So triglycerides divided by HDL should be less than two. So half of your triglycerides, if you cut them in half, should be equal to HDL. And then finally with LDL, we want to be looking at the particle size. We want the small ones to be lower. We don't want a lot of small particle sizes. We want them to be larger. Until you know those numbers, along with CRP, which I'll talk about it in a second, you don't really know your status of your risk of is there a problem because your body's producing the cholesterol and your normal compared to the person next to you could be very different. Number three, we have sugar levels. So look in your blood. How is your fasting insulin? A lot of people don't measure this one. Between two and six means your metabolism's working well. If it's high, then you've got work to do on your liver and your metabolism. A1C, but longer term burn on your sugar burner. See how efficient you're burning it. And then glucose is is going to be your more shorter term. But we want to see that at below 100, not spiking too high. So in your blood, we're looking at your cells, platelets, red blood cells, white blood cells. We're looking at your cholesterol. We're looking at your sugars. So we're looking at your fats. We're looking at your sugars. Then you can start taking a look at specific organs. So the kidney, I would be looking at your GFR to see if there's any damage happening there. We could be looking at inflammation, especially what is it doing to the heart or the brain. And so these different inflammation markers, measure those. Like CRP is very specific, typically for the heart, where lactate dehydrogenase can be specific for different organs. Platelets is the blood inflammation, homocysteine, all of these tell us if inflammation is present, if they are abnormal and high. That matters because you need to make lifestyle changes. You need to change your nutrition. You need to change how you're working out, stress levels, check the health of your liver. AST, ALT, and ferritin. Those are the three main numbers. Keep in mind that AST can be tied into other organs as well, but it's still a good predictor of the liver itself. Check the health of your thyroid. Make sure you do not forget antibodies or peroxidase because you can't tell the full picture again, just like cholesterol, until you know if an antibody's involved, you don't have a thyroid problem, you have a gut problem. The thyroid's just taking the side effects of it. Check the immune health. My favorite there is vitamin D3. Ideally, D3, not D2. Make sure you're looking at D3. And then finally, you can look at B vitamins just to see now that you know a lot more about them. So those recommendations are right here for you. A lot of people asking like, what would I get at a blood test? This is a simplified version of some recommendations to take a peek because you're measuring a lot of different organs in a lot of different sections, but it, it kind of just helps you. Like no one taught me that of like making it a little more simple of, oh, I see how I can measure multiple different areas of my body. The main thing though, and when these numbers are off, your lifestyle's off. So Dr. Living, I have a thyroid problem. Dr. Living, I have a liver issue. I have an inflammation issue. My blood is off. My cholesterol is off. My sugar's off. What do I do? Number one, you address your nutritional stress. Change what you eat, change how you move. So you got to fix your food and got to fix your fitness. Number two, you handle your mental stress. You change how you think about health in general and how you're thinking to eliminate stress and pain in your day. So we got to fix your focus and then we work on fixing your frame so you're not beating up bad knees and back pain and your pain is putting you in a bad mental strength. Then finally, toxic stress. And that's when you're changing the environment inside of you and out. So you're eliminating benzene for example, from your products, but then you're also fixing your filters, you're cleansing your liver or your kidneys or parasites and candida. Those are the steps. Address nutritional stress, address mental stress, address toxic stress. Do some cleansing and then start again. Why? It's not how long you do something, it's how many times you do it. That's what makes it a habit. The same process again, doctor? Yes, you don't need something new, you need a consistent you. To move from addressing nutritional stress, addressing mental stress, addressing toxic stress. Repeat that and you get into a rhythm, you start getting better and you take another step and then you're eliminating benzene and then you're eliminating your plastics and then you're eliminating bad forms of oils and then you're learning how to shop and then you're learning your workouts and then you're learning your detoxification and then you're learning your de-stressing and then 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%. It takes time to make you being healthy a lifestyle. One, where you're not dependent on unnecessary medications. You're not dependent on doctors. You're not dependent on diagnostics. You are living health, energy, vitality, movement, happiness. That's a lifestyle. You are the solution to it. You gotta be the change. No one can take better care of you than you. You are the solution.